Today I'll be showing you how to properly set up a uh, voice meter banana and potato. Uh, they're both basically the same program. It's just potato has a few more lines than banana does. Now, if you found this video, you probably found you probably watched another tutorial where the guy explained it uh, and it was just something was just not working or you're just too confused to follow along or it's just didn't make any sense where you have no desktop audio or your mic was outputting on the wrong line or you could hear yourself, you know, things like that. But today I will be showing you how to do it correctly. I've helped uh, quite a few friends setting this up and they've all told me that the way I have explained it is so much easier than the tutorials online. Now a few prerequisites for this program is you will need highly recommend you get or if you don't already get an audio interface such as a scarlet uh, focus right scarlet uh, any will do a solo will do just fine for beginners uh, if you're like me you have a 2i2 it'll work as well uh, the reason I say this is because voice meter draws from draws its sample rate from the interface so if you have an inter and doesn't have to be a focus right but if you have an interface that has a configurable sample rate you're good I don't recommend you use voice meter with a USB mic because it doesn't have enough sample rate for voice meter to push more than just your mic and another program through it will start to crackle and will, your voice will just break coming through like in discord or just in general now, another thing you will need, depending on which program you use, is virtual audio cables. Now, you can get a free cable from the same website as you get voice meter from. And you can also get a pack of two along with that from the same website as well. Uh, I recommend you get the pack of two for potato. You don't need it for banana. Uh, but that's user preference. But with potato, I do recommend you get that uh, second pack. It's like five bucks. It's not much. Uh, now, let's set this up. So when you first start up uh, banana or potato, you're not going to see this. With banana, it's going to be a lot. It's going to look a bit different. It's, you're not going to have all of these. You're not going to have this. But it's still going to look basically the same where with what I'm going to be showing you how to set things up now what you need to do is up here you'll see a flashing red text saying you need to set an interface or a, a hardware output in a1 you're gonna set to your interface which is the ASIO if you have a focus right make sure you have the focus right you know drivers installed and it's the USB ASIO uh, you know, hardware selection once that's set, you'll be you'll see voice meter fills this out to where it has a sample rate, which is good. Yeah, if you see that, you're good. Next, you're gonna do is uncheck everything here. No, just un just click it. it'll uncheck it. Uh, we're gonna use my, uh, line one for your mic, so just check B two for now. We'll get back to it in a second. Uh, uncheck every, uh, A1 on all of them unless you want to output to your interface and you have a mic, uh, you have a headset that plugs into the interface. If not, just uncheck it and then set A2 to your speakers or your headset. And you can also set A3 to your headset like I have here. I have A2 as my headset, A3 is my speakers. And I can switch between that with a push of a button on my stream deck which I'm not going to go into right now because it was a pain in the butt to set up in the first place. Now, let's get the mic working on line one. So you're going to click menu and before we get into the settings make sure you have auto restart audio engine checked off and run on Windows startup so you don't have to manually start it up every single time. Makes life a bit easier. Once that's checked you're going to go to system settings options and Right here, you'll see under a output A1 main device, you'll see uh, patch ASIO inputs to strips, and you're gonna check. You're gonna click 
here in these little gray boxes where the dashes are you're going to check off or you're going to make sure that both of them say one or two depending on whatever you have wherever you have your mic plugged into as you can see there it's not going to show up here but it will here you can see that since i don't i didn't have anything checked here it fills in the asio input which is what we want that's where the mic is going to be coming through and because we set it to b2 it outputs on voice meter aux or auxiliary if you want to get technical now the most important thing desktop audio you're going to come down here right click sounds you're going to get this screen right here, or this little pop-up right here you're going to go to playback scroll all the way down select voice meter input and set as default you're going to go to recording, bring it all the way down, select voice meter aux output, and set as default. Now that comes into play uh, in a bit once I show you how to set up Discord, which is in a few seconds. So let's set up Discord as an example. So hardware input 2. We're going to set the hardware input 2 as cable output which you uh, should have already installed. If you don't see it here, restart your PC. Now we're going to do cable output. Uh, I have A and B, but we're setting it to just cable output. Now, a neat trick is if you right click the top over the names of the uh, hardware lines, you can change it. So I have mine set to mic, Discord, cable A, soundboard, Spotify, my guitar. Voice meter input is your desktop, which is the voice meter VIO. The uh, voice meter aux is your output, or if you really want, you can output something to this line, to the aux line, without it going through on stream or anywhere else, or through your mic. It will work like that as long as you don't set it to B2. As long as it's B1, you're fine. B1 is this one. Or you can just uncheck that in general and it won't go through at all. Uh, and then this one, you don't have to worry about. That's just an extra cable line uh, that you can set things to go through as well. Now, we're going to go over to Discord. We're going to go to Settings. We're going to go to Voice and Video. And we're going to set the input device as the aux output, which is what we set our mic to. And we're going to set the output device to the cable input that you set to in Voice Meter. It's going to be, we set output, cable output in voice meter, so we're going to set cable input in Discord, which gives voice meter something to pull from when there's audio in Discord. So, for example, I have enabled the mic testing in Discord, so you can see that it's actually coming through. I have Discord muted in, on, in OBS, so you can't hear what I'm hearing, so don't worry too much about it. Uh, just know that it will work. Uh, to set it in Discord in uh, OBS, for example, you want to go to your settings, go, go to audio, and set. Well, this is basically the set setup that you will need right here. Uh, desktop audio one is going to be your desktop audio, aka the voice meter input. Uh, desktop audio two you can set as Discord, so it'll be a uh, cable input, which is where we set. This is what, what we set in Discord as the output. It gets a bit confusing, but just know that it's reversed. So when on Discord, the output device is an input device or virtual input device. And an output device or an input device will be the cable output device, virtual output device. If that makes sense, as you can see here. Don't worry about it. You can play around with it see for yourself, figure it out. But just know this is what you would put here. And then, obviously, for your mic, you would set the aux output. And that's it. That's how you set up uh, a program on in Voice Meter. Now, to set, let's say, Spotify. Let's open up Spotify real quick. Let's find the song. Da, 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 da. Home. Lower that. 
as you can see it is going through and the reason it's doing that is because I have it split off in windows so we're gonna right click the little speaker again open sound settings I'm gonna scroll all the way down so you see app volume and device preferences I'm gonna find Spotify and set it to one of your cable outputs which is why I had I used to set it to aux input because it was one of the lines because I didn't have any other cables at the time so it would play on this line and you would control Spotify with this slider right here but I have it set to cable B so that it goes to this line right here now because I don't have any of the B's checked off it doesn't output anywhere to let's say my desktop audio or my mic output or this third line which I use as an instrument but again not important so if you say you want to play music you can split whatever program is playing the music in the Windows settings right here to the cable and then set it to B1 and it will output to let's say OBS or you know you can set it to cable B output I believe it is in OBS and it will do the exact same thing it will have it split and you can mute it you know separately in uh, in OBS or you can just mute it here by unchecking this that's it that's how you set up voice meter and other programs in voice meter I hope this tutorial helped if I missed anything please let me know down below in the comments and I will be sure to address it or I'll just remake the video this is like the 15th time I've been trying to record it don't judge me but if you did enjoy the video and it did help you make sure you leave a like subscribe if you're not already subscribed and hit that bell so you get notified every time I upload thank you for watching have a nice day